Hey everybody, today we're gonna to do a cool activity where we make colors move. We're gonna make the colors move in milk. You don't need much, you just need some food coloring, some liquid dish detergent or dish soap, a little plate that's kind of shallow, some cotton swabs or Q-tips, and some milk. In this case, we're using whole milk. All you need to do is take the milk and you pour it into your plate and then you take your food coloring, add like maybe two drops to the center of each color using blue, yellow, and then red. And then you take your dish detergent and a cotton swab or Q-tip and you put some detergent right in the center. Just barely touch it and watch what happens. It's pretty cool. And you can leave it there and watch the colors move. Or you can dip it down to the bottom because sometimes the food coloring gets to the bottom of the milk. It's a little heavier than the milk and it might be at the bottom and sometimes you get some good reaction that way. You can also take some more dish detergent and touch the side of the plate and sometimes you get some extra action. In this case, it's going pretty well. To understand what's going on here, it's pretty tricky actually, but if you looked way down into the milk, uh, as close as you could get, all the way to the molecules that the milk is made out of, you'd see that it's made out of water molecules and fat molecules and protein molecules. They're all molecules made up of different atoms and they all interact with the dish detergent differently. The water has positive and negative charges on it and the fat has no charges and the protein is very complicated and has positive and negative in different places. Detergent molecules have a negative charge at one end and no charge at the other. So when you put detergent on the surface of the milk, the negative end of the detergent molecule attracts the positive end of the water molecule and the detergent zooms over the surface of the milk and pushes the food coloring to the edge of the plate. Then when you push that detergent down into the milk, the negative end of the detergent molecule again attracts the positive end of the waters. It also attracts the positive part of the protein molecules and the uncharged part of the detergent molecule attracts the uncharged part of the fat molecule. So you've got this detergent interacting with the water, the fat, the protein, the food coloring. So you've got lots of movement and lots of interactions that you see in all this color moving. You know, if you guys decide to do this activity, you don't necessarily have to use the liquid dish detergent like we did. You could try different kinds of soap and detergent. You have liquid hand soap, shampoo, liquid dish detergent, a powdered laundry detergent, or a bar of soap. Since they're all made of different molecules, the way the colors move in the milk might be a little bit different. It's worth experimenting to see what you find out. You know, also, there's more than just the regular food coloring. There's other food colorings out there you could try. You know, you could also use different kinds of milk. Like we used regular whole milk, but you could use 1% milk that is less fat, or you could use half and half that is more fat. You could do an experiment to see if the amount of fat in the milk mattered. You know, there's different experiments you could try. You could use a camera to tape it, and if you like what you get, you could send it in. 